All righty. Well, we're back with Chef Anthony Crescenzi. He's cooking up some Chicago-style favorites. And one of the things we were talking about during the break is because you're from Chicago, you're super passionate about the Chicago toppings, like what's real and what's not, right? Correct, as all Chicago people are. That's why, <laughs> you know, it's always such a debate, you know, and we get so animated about it because we all like to stay true to form. I, I, I understand that, and I can appreciate that. Um, I, love, I love your passion. So you're going to make us up, um, what, what is this called? It's a pickled? This is actually called Haitian Pickleese. Haitian Pickleese, and what, what makes it authentic Chicago Pickleese? Um, it's just the, uh, the simple fresh ingredients that go into it. You know, that's the whole trademark of Chicago. Everything's fresh, everything's simple, but it's flavorful and it's true to form. Okay. You know, I mean, you can't take this recipe and add something else into it and still call it Chicago. Oh, don't, even, to... don't even think about it. Don't <laughs> even think about it because Anthony I will, I will, will hunt you down. I, okay. And I will. So you're going to show us then how to make this. And again, we have all the, the, the recipes on the website. So, yes. so uh, let's get started. Again, we're going to start out like we did with the last two ones, doing the base. Let's show, um, let's show Smalls here what we got. Which the is... Here. It's the uh, vinegar and the sugar to heat up and make that simple syrup and very basic seasonings. We got a little bit of salt, a little bit of whole cloves, and about four to five black peppercorns. Oh, okay. So similar concept, but with this one, you don't even want to bring it up to a boil. You just want to bring it up to, say, you know, 110 degrees, you know, okay. warm to the touch. Just to get that sugar dissolved, right? Right, because okay. the ingredients are uh, shaved carrots. Can I dump? Sure, or? Okay. dump as I'm talking. All right. All right. Shaved carrot. Right. <laughs> Habanero peppers. Oh, those are the hot ones, right? Those are the hot ones. Okay. And because this is a Haitian recipe, the true um, pepper is supposed to be scotch bonnet peppers. But again, like I did with the jarnera, I wanted to feature something that can be purchased here locally. Okay, what do we so have So you got here? shredded green cabbage. Okay. And... Those are freshly shucked English sweet peas. Ooh, I love sweet peas. And, and uh, just regular shaved white onion. Okay. And then we're going to just kind of mix just that up kinda, a little yeah, bit? Yeah, just kind of toss it up there a little bit. All right. And um, I just really want to point out, um, KISS is not open yet. Uh, next week, uh, well, pretty much a week from now, I guess, October 1st is your yes. opening day, right? It will be. And we're you're putting gonna... the finishing touches on it as we speak. I'm going to get in there over the weekend and get everything set up. And October 1st, we'll be ready to go. Excellent. Right next door is the venue, yes. which is a banquet facility. Correct. And uh, you do you know, bar mitzvahs and uh, Yeah, we weddings. do a lot of upscale corporate events, weddings, anything that somebody wants something a little, a little chic, a little nice, a little different. We have a retractable roof for the banquet facility, oh, which is very unique that to the amazing. valley. So it, it adds a great twist to any event. I mean, you have a beautiful wedding and then at night you open up the roof and it's just the mood and the atmosphere it creates is unmatched anywhere out, in my opinion. Sounds spectacular. Yes. Okay, so, so what, what, what happens here next? The reason that you don't um, bring this up to a boil is because, especially the cabbage is shredded so finely, if it's too hot, it's going gonna, it's gonna to wilt it and turn oh. it to mush. And you oh. want this, you want the crispness to stay in it and you want the texture of the cabbage. But it needs to be a little bit warm to dissolve the sugar and start breaking down the rest of the items. Excellent job. Thank Good you job. so much, Chef yeah. Anthony. Have to show You're everything. Welcome. Coming uh, from KISS, which opens up next week, all of the recipes are on the website. Coming up tomorrow, get your dancing shoes on there, oh, Steph. That's right. We're doing a little dancing tomorrow. It's a Dancing with the Stars tonight. Watch it so we can recap it. Wait. I'm so excited. Wait. I'm really Aren't excited. Aren't you excited? <laughs> <laughs> Thrilled. <laughs>